Remaining calm is a superpower. This is a thought that is very true. No matter man or woman, boy or girl, whatever your profession is, whatever you do for a living, learning to remain calm under high pressure circumstances is a skill, is a trait, is a God-given ability, whatever you want to call it. It is it's a superpower. The month of October for me, for as long as I can remember, probably going back to 2008, has always been a stressful month for me. I got sent to Alaska, and I remember being in the wilderness and seeing the moose. An actual moose is in real life. I'm from the city. And so seeing a moose as I'm driving down the street, not the street, but a, a, a Alaskan road, if you will. Um, I forget where it was, in Anchorage. Or maybe not even Anchorage. It's somewhere between Anchorage and running around. But needless to say, I had to remain calm. It wasn't a moment to panic sit back and observe we were able to remain calm you can kind of process things and take note to what's going on in October I'm, I'm always very busy but two years ago my world changed dramatically in October when I found out information and I had to make a decision Thankfully, I'm a man who processes things very quickly, and I was able to make a calm decision. As much as part of me wanted to react otherwise, I'm thankful that I was able to make a calm decision because the consequences of my, the other actions would have had more impact on others not just myself it was a consequence to just affect me it probably would have went a lot different and I would have been okay with that but I say all this to say when you're able to think and understand the consequences to whatever happens and stay calm and, and move with intention it's an ability that a lot of people don't have. You see a lot of people, as the term today, crash out, just jump to conclusions or just make rash decisions and just regret things later in the, in the moment, from the moment in their emotions. Having the ability to just breathe, breathe and let the emotion move out and just see what's around. You open up like your peripheral vision instead of just that locked in tunnel vision. There's a reason why snipers work on breath control, work on keeping a steady pulse under such high stressful situations. It's a reason that people train over and over in adverse conditions that when there's time to perform an action or a job responsibility that requires concentration and focus, they're able to maintain their composure and remain calm. If someone who struggles with remaining calm, there's so many different ways they say to <laughs> try to help. I think counting to 10 and <laughs> breath work, all those things. But I think nothing really prepares you more than just just thinking through moments and things that may happen and how you will respond. And before you make a move, it's like the movie The Equalizer. I watch that movie all the time. It's my favorite movie because I love how it breaks it down because that's how my brain works in a lot of situations. It's funny. You stop and you, you, you look at things door this is there I mean he's on a whole nother level with it but 
I mean, guys that play chess, they're always thinking. People that play chess, not just guys, but it requires a certain amount of thought. It requires a certain amount of patience. It's easy to just flip a table and just react and just, ha ha. But when you react, you lose the ability to see. When you react in those manners, you lose the ability to really see what's going on sometimes, I think. You become more of a liability to yourself. Those are my thoughts when it comes to learning to remain calm. I'm interested to see if anybody else has opinions on this manner. This is number three. I got a bunch of these. I'm going to just keep going through them. But number three is a big one for me. And I've lived it. I live it every day. Remaining calm. When you're a parent, you got to remain calm. In the workplace, you got to remain calm. That doesn't mean you don't respond accordingly to things. It's just remaining calm in the moment. Because I feel like when somebody expects you to yell and get a certain reaction out of you, and you're able to deliver your reaction the way you want to from a poised, calm state, but still have the same intent, the same meaning, meaning, the same feel behind those words from a calm state. It's a totally different feel. It's almost scary. That's my thought. Till next time, I'm PJD. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.